Hey everyone, uh, my name is Jordan Sutton and I am the author of Take Back with the Devil Has Stolen From You. And I'm up here with another quick brief video just to remind you and let you know to always stay in your lane. Always continue to keep running your race, okay? Not anybody else's. Don't look on the side. Don't look on the side. But your race, okay? Focus on your race. Stay in your lane, okay? And that's very important. Because sometimes if you're not careful, you can get so caught up into what everybody else is doing and where everybody else is going and um, looking at the stages and phases in their life that they're entering. And it just seems like you're just so far back behind. But let me tell you something. All of that is going to come into play um, later on, even if you can't see it now and you don't understand it. And sometimes we're not supposed to understand it. And that's what God's looking for. Sometimes he's just looking at it. And trying to see what we're going to do. Whether he does, sometimes he prefers you not to understand it because he, see, that's the big test of your faith. If you don't understand it, if you don't see it, if you don't feel it, then how can he really truly test you to see whether or not if you're going to trust him? Okay. So just re realize and know that he would not put too much more on you than what you can bear. So don't. Go around thinking that this is just way too much for you to handle. And I recently wrote a blog um, topic on you can handle this, okay? And I'm going to try to put it in the description in the bottom below. And I want you to um, check it out. You can handle this and you were made for this, okay? So be careful. Make sure that you're staying in your lane. Don't force something to happen because you feel like it hasn't happened yet or um, you seeing how all of this amazing stuff is taking off for, for so many people. And even the people that you might think um, may not be living 100%, um, you, you're seeing how things are working and going in their favor. But here's the catch. Things may be working in your favor and you don't know it. And even though you don't see it and nothing is going on, you don't know if you're going to be his biggest surprise. Okay. You got to think about it like Christmas. I know Christmas is a pagan holiday, but think about it like this. When, let's say, there's kids, you know, they're just running to, to get their gifts, unwrapping their gifts, just, you know, unwrapping, and they went first. And you're the last one, okay? But it feels like you've been left out. It feels like you've been forgotten, all right? But the one that went last got the biggest gift. The one that went last, the one that had to go through all of that waiting, the one that had to go through all of that, seeing everyone else. And, you know, they were happy for them as well. But the one that waited the most got the biggest surprise. OK, and so you got to apply that scenario with what you're going through. OK. The ones that wait the longest. Are going to get the biggest surprise. The ones that have been put through more. And it seemed like everybody got a pass. And it seemed like everybody, you know, um, it seemed like everything was just working out so well for everyone, which is a great and wonderful thing. But again, the Lord is not going to put too much more, put too much on you than what you can bear. You feel like you may be in an unfair um, situation and where it don't seem like or feel like he may be looking out for you, but he is. And that's the catch. You're not going to feel you're not going to feel like it. You're not going to see it. Or it's not, it's not going to feel like it, okay? It's going to feel like, whew. <laughs> so, again, I just want to let y'all know to stay encouraged and be encouraged. Still run your race. Still stay in your lane. Don't get so caught up into what's going on around with everyone else. Because you don't know if you're his secret weapon. You don't know if he's he has you hidden for a purpose so he can bring you out. And here's something else. If you want what everybody else has, you must you don't want much. Okay. He wants to expand your mind. He wants to expand your vision. He wants to expand so much more. So if and don't get me wrong, especially if you in a place in a rough patch, it's gonna look it's gonna look like what everybody else has have is gonna be more. It's gonna look like what everybody else has, it's gonna look like you you know, you can it just looked like they just, it looked like you can just benefit off of what they, you know, it looks like you can use, you can definitely benefit if you have this. You can definitely benefit if you have that, if you feel like you had more to work with. But we cannot think that way, okay, because God wants to give us more. And yes, it's going to take a bit of suffering. Yes, it's going to take a little bit longer. 
Yeah, it's not going to feel fair and feel right, but we can't go off of how it feels like, okay? So that's very important, all right? And so and let me make sure I don't make this video so lengthy. I just want to let you know to be encouraged and that the best is still in store and on the way. Even if you're going through the same routine, even if it feels like it's the same thing over and over again, God has a purpose uh, for what you're going through. He has a purpose for your pain and a purpose for your suffering. And it may not look like it's any purpose in it, but it is. Okay, see, he's trying to trust you. He's trying to see if you can trust him, excuse me, if you're still going to believe him regardless of what's always falling apart or what's always seems to be crumbling apart, fumbling apart. And if you're always going through a lot of constant failure and hardships, he wants to see because he knows what's coming. He knows and best believe the devil knows what's coming too at the end. But he's trying to do everything he can to deter you from believing in what the Lord has for you. Okay, and sometimes you just want to see if you truly just love him, even if he didn't, if he didn't do this and do that for you. Do, do you still love him? Is, is your faith based off conditions? You know, it's so many tests, you know, <laughs> you know, so you got to make sure that you are always on guard. You got to always make sure that you're praying because your flesh can, you know, if you allow it, it can get to you, you know, it can feel like you left out. It can feel like you've forgotten you, but you know, that's not true. So do not allow feelings to override truth. Okay, again, I'm joining Sutton and remember that the best is yet to come. Run your race, focus on you, uh, continue to improve and grow within yourself and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're going to see what it's all for at the end. You may not see it now. You may not know now. It may not seem like it's right, but you may be his biggest and his best secret weapon. Okay, so he got to keep that hidden. And also remember how he does treasure. Treasure is hidden. It's not easily found. So let me also just tie this in this video. If you're the kind of person that's been working and you've been trying and you've been you know, putting your efforts into what you believe will come to pass and you know still will come to pass, but it hasn't, it doesn't seem like you're any more closer to your goals, let I, let him allow you to, to be hidden. All right, that's a purpose in that to allow. I know it don't feel right. Everybody get to shine. Everybody get to do them. But then again, we don't know what they went through either. You know what I'm saying? In order to get to where they are. But again, stay in your lane. Remember that treasure is hidden, okay? And that applies to any area. Any area. Wasn't David hidden when Samuel came to his house? Where his father's house was? And overlooked him? Because he simply didn't have the look? treasure is hidden but he was the one that was picked he was the one that was chosen and selected okay but he was hidden no they won't check for him you know what i'm saying so don't see it as a bad thing when people ain't checking for you don't see it as a bad thing when things ain't rolling your way i know the but you cannot follow the flesh you got to walk in the spirit at all times and that's what's really important so again i'm about to get ready to go ahead and go I'm Jordan Sutton. I'm the author of Take Back What the Devil Has Stolen From You. Check out the blogs and check out the link. Um, the link's below, okay? And remember, you got everything to gain and the best is still in the store. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how you feel like nothing is, is taking off and nothing is going well for you. But you can find out that that's going to still work for your favor in the future, okay? And it's not that he don't want you to be happy. Happiness is a choice. You still have to be happy even when you don't feel happy. You still have to be happy even when you feel like there's nothing to be happy about, okay? So we got to always humble ourselves regardless of what situation that we're in and still worship him and serve him for who he simply is, okay? Because he is magnificent and almighty. Always know that, okay? So remember that the best is yet to come. I'm Joy the Sudden and God bless. So remember the best is yet to come. We in this together. <laughs>